hi guys uh welcome to shakes youtube channel uh, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out any new videos that i'm going to upload uh today we're going to look at um citrix zen saver citrix zen saver i am uh, martin masheka i'm also known as uh, shakes martin and uh this guide uh, is going to take you through what is a sensei, what is a hypervisor. So that's what we're going to look at today. Right. What is a Zenseva? Zenseva is just an open source server visualization platform based on the same hypervisor. So what we are saying here is this is a software which is used to provide platform uh, for for people who want to virtualize uh, uh, digital devices. For example, if I want to visualize a, a Linux computer, by virtualization we are saying I'm trying to have something which I don't have. Uh, in other words, I'm just saying. Uh, I am having a, a, a computer which I can see with my eyes, but physically I cannot touch the, the, the physical computer uh, with my hands. But digitally I do have it, I can see, I can operate it, but I cannot say uh, this is my computer because it's virtual, it's not existing in the real world uh, physically so uh virtual virtual devices they run on top of uh, a physically existing uh, uh, device right so what is it that we are saying is a hypervisor so if we, we define the uh, zen server as an open source server virtualization platform based on zen hypervisor so what we are saying is a zen server is the the main platform where we put our virtual devices on top of the zen server hypervisor so what is a hypervisor it's just a, 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 a virtual machine monitor it's a software it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a computer software or firmware or hardware that creates and runs virtual machines so a hypervisor is just a, it, it could be a software it could be a firmware or a hardware which actually creates and runs virtual machines like i said uh our our our, our, our virtual machines which you cannot touch physically are installed on top of a certain software or on top of a certain firmware or a hardware so that uh, that platform which allows us to to have virtual machines and to monitor our virtual machines we can also install applications on our virtual machines the platform which gives us that service is called hypervisor therefore a hypervisor is a platform for virtual machines it's just a platform it's the ground for 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 for, for virtual machines right we do have uh, examples of hypervisors we have VF, uh, vmware uh fusion oracle visual box oracle vm for x86 solar zones parallels and vm workstations right so these are the examples of uh, hypervisors that we have like you see here we, we said we have uh, it could be a computer software like i said it could be a, a, a firmware it could be a hardware so we have different types of hypervisors we have two types of hypervisors so what are we saying type one hypervisor it runs directly on the system hardware it, it 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 you buy a hardware computer you install type one hypervisor which actually allow a, a additional or virtual machines uh, to run on top of it so type 1 hypervisor is uh is more like a a, 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 a a hardware operating system 
it's more like a, an operating system because the moment you buy a hardware computer you install the hypervisor after the hypervisor you then install the virtual machines you can now monitor them like we said in the definition of what the hypervisor is so that's type one and here are the examples of type one linux kvm all those are the examples of uh, type one hypervisor we also have zen server in this group right type two hypervisor these hypervisors they run on top of an existing operating operating system so what are we saying we are saying i bought my physical server uh, maybe it's power edge or dell power edge or it's vostro or whatever the type of server that i have which is a physical app uh, which is a physical hardware computer and in that computer i don't run uh, the hypervisor first I install an operating system, for example, Linux, for example, Windows operating system, for example, Mac OS. With all those uh, operating systems, I can then install a Type 2 hypervisor on top. For example, we have Oracle Virtual, uh, Virtual Box. I can show you the one that I have on my machine, which is this one. So this is Type 2 uh, Virtual uh, virtual box or this type to uh, hypervisor so with this oracle virtual machine i can install uh what do you call them uh, uh mobile phone virtual devices which exist in in, in, in another uh, software called genmotion in genmotion genmotion runs on top of this to facilitate the installation of uh, uh virtual devices of type uh of, of for, for for mobile applications right so uh, mobile devices can be virtualized using uh type 2 virtual machine virtual box right so let's uh resume our our lecture here right so functions of a zen server so zen server like we said it's a hypervisor it, it it's used to uh, monitor visual uh, virtual machines uh, you can install virtual machines on top of zen server so why do we need a virtual a, a zen server a zen server is there as a platform for us to have um, for us to have uh, a, 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 to have uh, for us to have uh, our virtual machines so where do we apply this in cloud computing where do we apply this in cloud computing let's say uh if you ever tried to to use um some server drives online or to use some operating systems online maybe you want to get a programming software for example you want to code java or want to code what in whatever the language you just get the software online you run it where is that application running maybe it's running on a virtual machine maybe it's running on a physical machine but really we we we, we really you run uh, uh applications online which are running on physical machines they are fit, uh, typically running on virtual machines so zen server is used by visualization administrators to deploy host and manage virtual machines right so why do we need several machines on the same on on one uh, physical computer so that maybe we can say uh, uh someone is buying the service of uh, uh is 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 is, is uh, is buying infrastructure which is just a computer we allocate someone that we allocate that someone a virtual machine and that someone will access that virtual machine remotely through the use of uh, internet and the cloud in this case we can have several uh, users or several clients getting their independent or individual uh, devices which they may think that they are existing as physical computers but uh, us hosting the, 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 
the, the server and the virtual machines we know that it's not a physical computer. Uh, Zenseva is also used to distribute hardware resources such as a CPU, memory, networking, storage to VM, virtual machines. We only we may only have um, uh, one physical memory installed on a, on, a, on our server, and we distribute we distribute uh, that uh, memory to several to several uh, to several virtual machines. Right, we can also distribute networking devices by uh, partitioning and uh, sharing of the network interface card, CPU, same price. We have a main feature of Citrix Server, which is the provision of visualization infrastructure management. We have ZenMotion. This feature allows you to leave uh to, uh, to it allows you to migrate from one virtual machine to another from to visualize it to sorry for that i mean it allows you to move one virtual machine from one server to another uh server yeah for instance here yeah, what we are saying is i do have two servers and i want to move my virtual machine from one server to another server you can access this service or this feature uh, from zen server with the enterprise version of zen server 7.1 you can also leave uh, live path host with no downtime we are saying you are our user might be using the the the, the, the virtual machine but we are migrating the server the, the the virtual machine from one server to another server i think that's it for for today uh we now know what citrix server is we now know what uh, a hypervisor is we know the types of hypervisors that we have you know the functions of a zen server and how it apply to cloud computing thank you very much for watching this video uh please don't forget to subscribe uh, like share and give some comments below so that maybe we can improve our videos uh, and add some content please if you request if you have got a request for a certain concept that you do not understand please uh, give it as a comment and i will take my time to prepare a video for you and uh, if i left something just add it on the comments so that others can actually benefit from what you really know thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day goodbye